So here's a satellite image portraying the landscape, much like you would see if you were flying an airplane and looking down. So the area is the Alaska Range, and this is Denali National Park in this area. And vegetation appears green to most humans because green light is being reflected more than blue or red light. So in other words, photosynthesis uses energy from the blue spectral region and the red spectral region. And so plant canopies are reflecting relatively low in those spectral regions and relatively higher in the green spectral region. So it turns out that relative to visible spectral regions, such as the blue, green, or red spectral region, vegetation canopies typically highly reflective in another spectral region called the near-infrared spectral region. And that's the same invisible spectral region that most remote control devices are using. So for example, your television remote control or the remote control to turn on your DVD player. So fortunately, vegetation canopies are the only natural surface that have a relatively high near-infrared reflectance compared to red reflectance. So we use this contrast to compute a vegetation index called the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, or NDVI. And NDVI can range from negative 1 to positive 1, and non-vegetation surfaces such as clouds, water, soil will have low NDVI values that are either negative or close to zero. And then plant canopies will have NDVI values above zero. And in general, the greater the plant canopy density and the greater the photosynthetic activity, the higher the NDVI value. So in this example, willow shrub canopies might have an NDVI value ranging from 0.3 to 0.5 while a dense birch forest canopy might have NDVI values ranging from 0.6 to 0.9. So here's an example from NDVI spectral measurements made in the field in Alaska. And moist non-acidic tundra ranges in NDVI from about 0.55 to about 0.7, while shrub tundra has higher biomass and it's ranging from about 0.7 something to about 0.85 in terms of NDVI. So we can take our same satellite image and using the contrast between the near-infrared reflectance and the red reflectance, we can color code the landscape based on its NDVI value in each pixel. So here NDVI values near zero are color coded orange. So for example, the Nanana River has low NDVI values and these lakes in Broad Pass and near Cantwell have low NDVI values. But the glaciers and the rock outcrops, they also have low NDVI values near zero. And in contrast to this, the vegetation surfaces in various shades of green will have NDVI values um, that are higher and the highest NDVI value would be the higher plant canopy area, and they may have NVI values ranging up to 0.8 or 0.9, for example.